Alright, so while Maddie's editing, I'm going to be finishing in the head. So we came up with a great idea for how to deal with the whole issue of fiddle blocks in the head's cabinet without needing fiddle blocks at all. We were going to put in a shelf with big fiddle blocks, and the whole issue is the bigger the fiddle block, the less stuff can fall out, but then the less you can get in there because there's a stupid block in the way and you just can't get in there. So I thought instead of having shelves, why don't we just have two hammocks that hang inside the cabinet uh, to hold all of our meds and stuff. And that's what we keep in here. We keep all our medications and just in case things like that. So that way they can fill up the hammocks and also when you open the cabinet, the hammocks might swing near you, but they will not spill out all of the contents all over the floor. The original plan was to have the cabinet actually on this side, and that's because when we're actually sailing, especially in the ocean, we have to worry about tacking. And the fact that when we are on starboard tack, if we need anything out of these cabinets, you open the cabinet and all the contents will actually just spill out onto you. So we were going to have the fiddle blocks, like Herbie said, to keep that from happening, but fiddle blocks are going to get in the way of grabbing anything that we need, and they're kind of a pain to make. So instead, we could just use the hammocks. Now you might be wondering, why not do the easy thing, which is to just put the cabinet here, where the door is? Because then, no matter which way we're healed, it doesn't matter. The It's not going anywhere. Well, we already have this cabinet kind of built in. <laughs> and if we put a nice big storage cabinet here, the sink's under it. And then it's it's like it, it's in the way. So we didn't like it. It just didn't work. Um, and it would have had to come out and jut over top of the sink. It just, it wouldn't have visually looked as good. So yeah, that, we decided to keep what was already there. Yeah, that was the original plan was to rebuild the new cabinet and make the whole cabinet be like this whole side here. And it just... It wasn't going to be a thing. But we realized that we're not actually losing storage space because our old cabinets were about this wide. Not, not exaggerating. Yeah. One Advil bottle <laughs> wide. So with this situation, we're going to be able to store a lot more in a smaller, compact amount of space. The old cabinets just did not make any sense. So we're not losing any storage space, we're actually gaining storage space with a smaller cabinet, if that makes any sense. And then we get a bigger shower space in the meantime, with a nice big shelf to store our soaps on. Like, it's, there's a lot of pluses here. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this has been my world for like the past two months. Wait, me, I have to pee. I'm coming back. Crappiest roommates, they only come into my room to Turn it off. For dinner tonight, I am making us some pad thai. I got some um, ramen. Ta da! It's carnival. Admiral Squid reporting for duty on the streets of Teixeira. We're currently on our way into town to check out Carnival, but we're concerned. Seems like there may be a little bit more hype about Carnival than is necessary. It's very quiet, and we're supposed to be seeing a bunch of people in costumes. It was a lot steeper feeling when you can't walk. So we got here and apparently the tickets were sold out, but we met a nice man who said to come up here into one of these booths. We have no idea uh, what this is gonna be, but I'm excited to find out. There are a few people dressed up, but it's too hot for the squid hat, so the squid hat came off. The show has begun.
evening is comprised of these little plays. And uh, we feel like we got a feeling for the event and it was a cool cultural experience. And uh, we feel good and, and we're gonna head home now. Back to the boat. No elevators here. Great news! Our sink has come in, which means we can get started on our galley project. But the first project is going to be actually getting the sink into the boat. Luckily, we have our friend Scott here to help us out. And luckily, the sink fit in the back of the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have let me go up and receive it. <laughs> so it's really interesting. So we usually have the deck painted white because that's what it's always been. And just the primer coat being this dark gray on a pretty cool day. The inside of the boat is like scorching hot because it's such a hot deck. So the moral of the story is if you're going to cruise in the Arctic, paint your deck dark. If you're going to the tropics, don't do that. <laughs> Stick with white. <laughs> okay, we have successfully put the sink in the boat and by we I mean Herbie and Scott. And now we're gonna go back to Scott and Grouse's house to, to uh, finish out our weekend the right way. <laughs> We're back here at one of our favorite restaurants, Quinta Doces Ors. Got the canvases. Got three painting commissions. It's another exciting day on Wisdom. Today, since the sink came, and since I'm able to help out now, uh, my foot is almost all better, I'm gonna be painting the deck, and Herbie is going to start taking apart the galley. So we're really coming down the home stretch here. It's so exciting. It has begun. I'm putting the bedding compound in the back to seal everything up. We're using 3M 4000. We don't have to worry about UV resistance in the head, but I have a ton of UV resistant 3M, so the 4000 series. I don't like 5200 because that stuff is permanent and you can, like, it's so hard to get it off. I prefer 4200 just because it's easier to remove. But the 4000 is the 4200 with UV resistance. So it'll all be totally waterproof from the outside, and even if water gets in, all the wood is oiled, so it doesn't really matter. So how's it going? Every time I turn around, the bird is pooped on the deck somewhere. It's really annoying. It's looking so pretty!
So the sink is plumbed, everything's all hooked up. This is now a real thing if we had water pressure, but we're still on foot pumps. The shower down here runs all the way up to the shower head up there. This is the fiddle block for our soaps and all that good stuff. Up here we have a cabinet. We need to put stuff in the cabinet and get those wires out of the cabinet. And then down here we have all the plumbing and stuff, so that's not too interesting. But this whole area is going to be storage. And then down here is the shower floor, and as you can see, I haven't made the mask cover yet. But that's super simple. It's literally going to be two pieces of wood that are screwed together into an L, and then put up there. So not that big a deal. We have this finished. So I'm going to start disassembling the galley. That way we can measure for the wood that we're going to need for the shelves. Now we're going to start tearing apart the head, the galley. Been in the head for months. But I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of the galley that we currently have. So we have a propane burner which sits on top of a stove that we're afraid to use because it's caught on fire twice. Once on each tack. So pretty much we only use it if the boat is vertical and no chance of healing. Which is why the propane one was our friend. So the one we're replacing it with is going to be a gimbaled alcohol stove oven. So we can bake bread inside. And we have our giant sink here, which is literally a meter long. And the sink is going to replace this sinkhole region with a nice big drying rack that's going to run over that way. Okay, so Maddie is always the voice of reason when it comes to our relationship. And I finished the head, and <laughs> I was going to start demolishing the galley at like 10 p.m. Maddie pointed out that no. Take a break, <laughs> we got a lot done. So we're gonna watch some Rick and Morty and eat Pifanas because it's a great way to unwind and relax. Oh, and by the way, a Bifana is this delicious sandwich they do here. We'll start the uh, demolition of the head, the galley. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. So today I contributed. <laughs> I worked on, whoop, that's upside down. This painting commission for one of our YouTube followers. Thanks so much for the commission, and I can't wait to send it to you. If you guys want a painting commission of yourselves, your dogs, whoever you find special in your life, even your boat, um, I'd love to do that for you. My email address is in the description down below. It's the Artistic Eye Studio one, and I look forward to hearing from you. I must say, so I see a lot of paintings that Maddie makes because you know, I'm her husband, I'm around, and this one is just so adorable. <laughs> it's like, it's one of my favorites. It's so cute. <laughs> it is time. Time to start the construction or deconstruction of this galley. In front of me here we have the wood, the Sapili mahogany, which is going to be our butcher block countertop. And right here we have the sink. And behind me here we have the wood that's going to be for the shelving unit that's in this dead space area. We're going to show you all that. And this is Japanese cedar. And um, I'm just super, super excited. This is a long time coming. We've got the new gimbaled stove and oven in the mail on its way here. So the reason we're doing Japanese cedar for the shelving unit and all that mess is a couple reasons. One, it is super cheap on this island because it grows like crazy here. And the second reason is Japanese cedar is pretty much rot resistant. It doesn't have much change uh, with moisture, so it won't change in size. Doesn't have much of an issue with checking either. So it's just like super good for all these qualities, especially in a like a cupboard. It's gonna have pots and pans go on it. And lastly, it is super lightweight. So we can build all these structures in the boat. It doesn't add a ton of weight to the boat. So then we're not gonna like list funny in the water. Brew of many. <laughs> so, uh, how's it going? Oh, it's glorious. So this is the glamorous part. It's like a million wing nuts holding the sink in. And the problem is, there's only these tiny little holes to get in there. And then there's a sink in the way, so... Uh, just trying to reach these suckers to get them loose. This is the moment where we say goodbye to this wretched sink forever. Finally got all those wing nuts out. It'll fit. It'll fit. Maddie said it wouldn't fit with the sink in the faucet there. There we go. It 
Woo! Bye, Sink. I hate you. And I am not going to miss you. All right, hate's a strong word. Yeah. It was a nice sink. Bye, Sink. Thanks for all the stuff. Ah, well, actually, now you can see all that dead space that I've been. Oh my gosh, there's a net about. down there. Yeah, it's a trash can. That's actually uh, a water filter. I didn't. That we once had. No, that. Yeah, it was so hard to get to, I just never took it out. Okay, so see that space down there? It's an enormous space that we haven't been able to use at all because we don't have access to it. Now, Dan and Kika of Sailing Uma had a very similar issue, and they solved it by creating a Lazy Susan in the corner. Now, we could do that, but I feel like the space would actually, for us, be much better utilized if we installed shelving and cut an access door in the bulkhead on the other side. So we'll actually be able to have full use of that entire space um, through a cabinet on the other side. And it's going to be awesome. That's where we're going to put everything from pots, pans, to uh, pasta storage. Basically everything that is currently where the stove is going to be. Which is the space here under the stove. So we're getting a new stove and a new oven, which is going to take up all this space, which means we lose all of the storage area that we've been using for our pots and pans and everything. And that is why all of this ridiculous amount of wood that I got is to make the shelves that are going to go in there. We got the door cut, it's time to pop it out. The glue has had all night to dry. Some parts aren't completely dry yet. Okay, so we're... <laughs> Don't know what you were trying to do there. I was trying to get closer to you. I want it. And lastly, There was one, I had it, I forgot it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.